Hey, we're back. Good evening. It is Thursday night. Time for another episode of Thrifty Business. I'm your one host, Jason Thrifts, and with me from Pete's Treasures in the chilly, we got one inch of snow, Texas. Aaron, how the hell are you? I'm good, enjoying our snow day. We'll take it. You got one inch. My mom's like, oh, she just said you got nine. <laughs> I don't know what we do if we get, well, we had a quite a year last year or so. Yeah. So uh, good to see everybody. I know most of you are in cold places. Oh, yeah. There's Lisa. Negative 20. We were just talking about you, Lisa. Why does anyone live there? Negative 26. I got a, I got flannel on. It's like 56. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, good to see everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, excited to be back. Always got good stuff, especially when we take a week off uh, for shenanigans. So let's get right to it, shall we? Now it's time for Jay's Tiki Talk. Each week, I drink a different rum out of a different tiki mug and try and match it up to my guest. And our guest tonight is John Davis. Finally, we've been teasing him for quite a few weeks. <laughs> how, how are you, John? I'm feeling great. That's good because uh, I did a little altering. I wanted to make sure I matched the rum up to you. So we got oh. some uh, John Davis rum there. Just oh. ignore the little uh, post-it. <laughs> so this there is actually go. called uh, John Emerald. Uh, Close uh, enough. A, uh, flavored rum that's really yummy. And because you live in the <clears throat> great state of Michigan, Ooh. this is from Max's Ooh. South Seas Hideaway. Now, have you been there yet, John? Uh, no, I uh, never heard of that place. There's another one we have here, Mutiny Bar and Grill. Yeah, so that's in Detroit. Max's is in Grand Rapids. Oh, okay, okay, Grand Rapids. Okay. And the cool so, thing so, about so. Max's is they have an in-house mug maker. Ooh. So all their mugs are done right there. So the cool okay. thing when they have little get-togethers and sales and stuff, every time you make a mug, there's going to be some test glazes. And so what, what do they do? They sell the test glazes and... Last time mom was up there, she picked up a bunch and then made a bunch of money. Oh, and they make awesome. they make some seriously kick ass mugs up there. Wow, wow, that's detailed. Okay. Yeah, look at all that. This is it's like two hours from uh where I'm at on the Grand Rapids, so I may have to make a road trip. Yeah, once once the snow breaks, and you will be blown away by how much tiki's in that place. Oh, okay. I'm friends with there's a couple owners, and I was talking to the one, the one I've known forever, and he goes, dude, the other owner. Thought he was going to fit it all in this three-story bar mm -hmm. restaurant. And he goes, we only got a third of it in there. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. And actually, so he yeah. is like, we've got so much extra. <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, there's a book coming out this month about Detroit, the history of, of Tiki in Detroit. So Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I'm going to have to pick that up. What, uh, what are you drinking tonight, John? I am drinking, well, I got my Secret Beach glass. Nice. I'm drinking... Uh, Rum and Diet Pepsi. All right. It's oh, my favorite. Oh, yeah. we. I want to get to Grand Rapids. You know, definitely. Uh, and um, there's two tiki bars right in Detroit. So we definitely want to hit all three of those this summer. So we are coming. What do you got cool. tonight, Aaron? Uh, I made a Trader Vic's grog to go with this new modernist mug. Nice. I love it. So now, yeah. see, see how nice it is that your straw sits above? This <laughs> this mug is so deep, my straw goes down <laughs> in it. See? Bye. Bye, straw. <laughs> all right so john's gonna be here we're gonna chat about all the tools that ebay has to offer make sure everyone's actually using them especially terra peak and uh so sit back and relax aaron and i are going to uh educate and uh entertain for a couple minutes <laughs> Ta -da. we'll see you a little bit john <laughs> i like that Ta -da. here we go all right debbie just tried to add herself hi debs <laughs> <laughs> and now it's time for our scores of the week these are the items that you should be on the lookout for when you're out thrifting okay what the what all right so we first of all i love quirky items like this uh we saw an article that said this brand called camp is going to sell campbell's scented candles and um so i had to get them and uh, I saw that they sold out really quick online, and I, I just wanted them for myself. Um, but then I realized there were only three brick and mortar stores, and one was 15 minutes from my work. So I got in the car that day, and they said I was the first one to buy these, and they <laughs> <me>. <laughs> um, So special, right? Um, so yeah, this actually sold for 125. I paid 24 dollars. 
And the same person bought not only the tomato soup and grilled cheese scented candle, but the um, chicken noodle one. And so, yeah, $250 out of $48. And when it melts, it has this little golden snowman, like the old commercials of um, Campbell's Soup. So I don't know. I just, it's such a fun item and I love arbitraging weird niche things. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. So this, okay, it actually sold for 75. Uh, I was at the thrift store. Um, I was like, Matthew could use this in the garage. And then I flipped it over and uh, looked at it and it was from a brand called Interdesign. And apparently it's mid-century and I didn't think it was Bakelite or anything. It's just like really hard plastic and it's like an organizer caddy and it sold for $75. And yeah, that's a definite bolo. I was like, are you serious? This sells for that much? <laughs> and some other colors sold for $99. So I, that's what I was aiming for, 100 bucks. But, you know, after six months, I'm like, $75 is perfect. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yes, you taught us about San Marcos blankets, and we've actually had quite a bit in our store. And some of them, it, it seems like they either go right away or they sit for a while, but the payoff is always worth it. Um, this sold for $95 to someone, you know, in Houston, Texas, and so in our state. And they also bought another one for $85 in the same purchase. So that was a really nice. Jeez, thing. You're having some nice customers who are buying multiples. Yeah, that's the best. I think people are making jackets out of them now. So I wonder if that's what, what they do. Yeah. I got to see that now. Yeah. Matthew told me about it. I'll have to check it out. Um, this is something we mentioned a lot in our videos. The brand Vietri. It's Italian pottery. And this one plate sold for $24, I believe. And uh, yeah, uh, when you buy them for $2 and you have multiples, I think we have like five total. Uh, it's a great profit and they're kind of heavy, but good payoff. Nice job. Nice scores. Mm -hmm. All right. So I wanted to show this Tory for the sole reason of Tory Richard is primarily known as a Hawaiian brand. And, you know, there ain't anything really Hawaiian about this at all. It's mm -hmm. a golf shirt for the most part. Yeah, uh, but I still would pick it up, especially since it was new with tags. I got it at uh, I think I got it at Buffalo Exchange for ten ninety nine and sold it for a best offer of forty dollars. Nice. Uh, VHS. What did I tell you? Did I tell you VHS sells? Have I told you? <laughs> uh, so I got some Pam Greer movies, and uh, I thought I'd make a, a quick lot of them. So it was Foxy Brown, Friday Foster, and Sheba Baby. And they've been listed for quite a while, but someone picked them up. And these these weren't these weren't from my big purchase. These I picked up, uh, I think, at a garage sale for two bucks each. So that's awesome. Wasn't she in the Quentin Tarantino Jackie Brown? Yep, she was in Jackie Brown. Okay. Yep. Yep. All right. So uh, speaking of tiki mugs, a lot of bars uh, that carry mugs will retire them. This mug was the original Mali Kula from Frankie's, but it was supposed, it's supposed to be a rocket and you see the gray area. Well, they could never get the glaze right without it being a hot mess. <laughs> and so the owner Moss has finally said, all right, we're going to retire this and make a new one. So when you find these out in the wild garage sales, thrift stores, what have you, uh, it can bring a good amount of money, 106 bucks, because it was only made for a short amount of time and he just couldn't take the bad glaze job. So it got yeah. nixed kind of quick. I think maybe maybe only one order of like a thousand and then it was over. It reminds me, it's giving me a Tiki Bob vibes. Yeah. The front like a Tiki of Bob modernist rocket vibe. Yeah. All right. This this was this was Aaron, my white whale. White whale are the things that you always want to find and you've never found. Like I've never found the scrubbing bubbles, the thing <laughs> for your shower. I have never found that. And then in uh, the Tiki community, sandwich aisle jackets. And there it is, Sandwich Isle, uh, is another white whale. And I finally got my white whale, sold it for $275. Now, you can see the red has run a little bit. So it's not yeah. just red and white anymore. It's kind of pink. And That's so, really I, cool. I, yeah, I made sure that the uh, buyer knew. And I will share with you how much I paid coming up in another segment. And now it's time for our CD and cassette scores of the week. 
And as always, we start with flipping cassettes. Did I mention cassette cell? <laughs> Do you believe? How about uh, Terminator 2 used for $24? And hey, Lisa Bowen, did you buy this? Because <laughs> that big old C in front of the 30 means it was sold on eBay Canada directly. Nice. So Terminator 2 on cassette for $24 is off to Canada this week. I like that. I'm sorry, Aaron. What were you saying? Oh, I was just saying I like the photo. Like, oh, yeah. 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 Uh, that was, that's Monica. That was her. I, I said, you know, I've been telling her, do something a little bit more creative than we have been doing, meaning me, so to speak. And so she comes up. Uh, oh, I, I don't remember. Uh, I, I'll, I'll check in a second, at least. Um, <laughs> so uh, everything she's come up with kind of looks different than the norm. And I liked mm -hmm. it. So I keep letting her run with whatever she wants to do. All right. So when you get a bunch of records, Fog Hat's a fine band, but none of these records uh, are anything exciting. That's when you put them in lots. So 30 bucks isn't that big of a deal, but I'm working through my buddy's 7,000 records. And so when you can take six, put it into one, one, one lot, way it goes, 30 bucks, it's awesome. So don't forget to group like bands together when they're not worth it by themselves. Good tip. And now we go from flipping cassettes to flipping CDs. Hey, I didn't sell this. What's this? So this is a CD. Um, <laughs> no. um, my mom gave me a big box of CDs that she was going to actually thrift. And they were CDs that she bought only because they were in a lot and she wanted one specific CD. So she was just getting rid of these extra CDs. And it was, I don't know, basically free money. So we actually got $12. Not a fan of R. Kelly, but I'll take his money. So Now, here, here's my tip, though, and this is for everybody. Okay. I like how you tried to fill the space up by using uh, producer Barry Hankerson. I don't know who the hell that is. Some people might, but here's what you missed. Oh, no. Yep. So instead of that guy's name, I would absolutely put Notorious B.I.G. in our oh. title. Man. Yeah. Now, we did sell it for more than it's going for. Maybe because it was C. That's great. But, but yeah, that's totally true. I have yeah, no idea. Biggie Smalls that. or Notorious B.I.G. Would, would have been, uh, and I'm sure Barry's a fine producer. I just don't, yeah. he, his name doesn't ring a bell to me. So he's not one of them big producers, I wouldn't think, because I know a lot of the producers. Right. Good tip. All right. I'm going to make you believe, Aaron. I'm going to make you believe. I actually love this album. So this is uh, Mila Jovovich, and for those of you who don't know that she's a singer, you might know her as an actress. She's the lead star of the Resident Evil movies, and I first got to know her as the chick with the orange hair and the and the uh, skimpy white outfit in the Fifth Lilo. Element with Bruce Lilo. Lilo. Yeah. So, uh, so she also is has a singing career, and this is a promo that had no back artwork and uh, was just the one song. Just the one song. Wow. And I took a best offer of $50. That's great. Oh, all right. Thank you, John. Look at that. Look at our, our guests are dropping knowledge at, at, while they're waiting. I love that. <laughs> all right. Now, 50 bucks for one song would think, think, think that would be good. Not even the not, whoops, not even the best yet this week. Okay. I wanted to share this one, even though it's only $5 more. Mother McCree's Uptown Jug Champions. If you've never heard of Mother McCree, it's part of the Grateful Dead. Oh, okay. So it's Jerry Garcia and it's Bob Weir and it's Pigpen, three of the guys from the Grateful Dead, little side project. But what I wanted to show as an added bonus is it was for sale at Zia Records in Phoenix for 40 bucks. But they're running a sale on all their higher price CDs and clearing them out because new ones were coming in. And so I wasn't going to buy it at 40, but I was happy to buy it at 16 and I moved it pretty quick. At 55, like it had been listed for maybe four days. That's great. So if you live near a record store, most stuff will get down price at some point because they don't want to hold on to them forever. All right, now let's get excited. Are you excited? Do you believe? Yeah. Can I get an amen in the chat? Amen. How about $130 for Dark. the Dark Crystal soundtrack? Now, I did pay 50 and the one thing I don't usually share, not that I wouldn't, 
is I want to show you the exact profit because Amazon does take a hefty cut. But I paid 50 and after Amazon fees and obviously my initial 50, my profit was $58. So would you spend 50 to make 58? Heck yeah, you should. Yeah. Yes. Because this was listed for maybe three weeks. That's awesome. And thank you for the amen and for the we believe, but we ain't there yet. We ain't there yet. Are you excited? Get excited because $130 wasn't even our best score of the week. How about Jethro Tull for $200? Wow. And I want to show you, when I found this at Amoeba Records, I'm like, man, I think this is mispriced at $35. But I quickly bought it. And this sold on Discogs for $200. That's crazy. We love Jethro Tull. Now, if you have not started looking at media yet, what are you waiting for? What? Uh, the Dark Crystal was not sealed. Uh, nope, not sealed. It was uh, like new. So if the Dark Crystal would have been sealed, it would probably have been closer to 175 bucks. Wow. So please, if you haven't taken my courses yet, take them. Look how much money that was in just uh, four CDs and a cassette. That's yeah. like $450, $500 and just those five things. So come on now. Do you believe? <laughs> Amen. Now, sadly, they're not all that good. And now it's time for our duds of the week. Do not let our mistakes be yours. All right. Is this mom jean Play-Doh? Yes. Oh, sure is. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, okay. I didn't really read it. I just saw the picture and I'm like, that man looks like mom jeans. Yes. And I, when I posted this or sent it to you, I immediately looked up the SNL skit mom jeans. Um, I We arbitraged these because we were like, what? Play-Doh that's okay. It had grass scented, um, mom jeans, dirty socks. Wait, not dirty socks. I don't know. A lot of other scents. And we're like, maybe we could arbitrage these. That's kind of quirky, kind of like the Campbell's. And we have sold a few on Pop Shop here or there, but they just kind of sat. And, you know, at least at the end of the day, I have mom jeans Play-Doh. So who can be mad at that? Uh, Lisa, to go back to your question, it went to Laval, L-A-V-A-L, Quebec in Canada. That's where the uh, Terminator cassette went. Mom, <laughs> Jean, Plato, I've seen it all now. <laughs> I have no idea. Well, Debbie, just bend over and smell your leg. <laughs> Thank gosh. <laughs> Maybe it smells like denim. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? I mean, they're kind of tomato soup candles, so. Um, this was just a dud because, you know, Pepsi glasses are very plentiful and, uh, it actually sold for seven fifty, and it sat a while. So, you know, at the end of the day, they did pay $20 for it with shipping, but, uh, we'd probably rather put it in our antique booth instead of list it. So that's why we put it as a dud. Yeah. And, and, and you had a packet, which, you know, it's right. glass. Okay. So this came in a lot. And, and so, you know, it wasn't something I went out and sourced. It came in a box, kind of like Aaron and Matthew who unboxed a couple things in the recent their their recent videos. Uh, but it sat around forever. I finally ran a fifty percent off sale, and someone wanted it for nine dollars. So hmm. goodbye, Slovak Republic T-shirt. We'll see you later. <laughs> and then I fully believe part of this, you know, because I always tell you look for the guitar tab books. Mm -hmm. Part of this is Eric Clapton's new um, "Get Off My Lawn" stance on life suing a woman who was selling a bootleg cd of his his uh his stance on the pandemic so again no one wanted it i ran a 50 percent off sale nine dollars bye bye so you know no. uh you don't you don't always uh get the good ones but that's why we have the duds to let you know no matter what you do how long you do it how good you are sometimes you're still gonna have duds and don't get don't sweat it right don't sweat it <laughs> And now it's time for where in the world did our stuff go? If you are not shipping internationally, you are leaving out 7.3 billion with a B potential customers. Okay, did you practice? No. <laughs> uh, Villainez sur sign. So there you go.
<laughs> I'll, I'll believe it because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we actually pick up Susan Winget a lot. Uh, she she does lots of designs for like Boston Warehouse, all those like collectibles and plates, like uh, Sakura and things like that. And yeah, we were pleasantly surprised that I went to France because they paid a lot of money to just for one mug. So yeah, that's awesome. Now mine, you've you've just seen it. And so what's even cooler about the Jethro Tull, it's off to Istanbul, which is not oh. Constantinople. Nice. <laughs> Here I'll work. Um, yeah, so that was the extra bonus. My uncle was a big Jethro Tull fan, and I was with my mom when it sold, and I'm like, oh, my God, Uncle Me would be blown away. I sold a Jethro Tull CD set for $200, and then I saw I was going to Istanbul. I'm like, that's even nuttier. That's awesome. But that's why we want you all to sh sh sell worldwide, because you never know when someone in Istanbul is like, you know what I need? I need a $200 Jethro Tull CD set right now. Gotcha. And I need it from Jason because he's the only one that has one on Discogs. That's how you do it. And that's what you want to do because there are people all, all, all over the world that want our stuff. <laughs> and now it's time for You Have Got to Be Shipping Me. What to do and what not to do when it comes to shipping. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew actually made this, but Debbie, I like the, the, the border. Um, so... This comes from my resident shipper, my husband, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, this is the third time we've been on within a month. So we're like trying to find like a new tip that hasn't been mentioned. And Matthew likes to make these little easy pull tabs for when you're using clear packing tape, like on bubble wrap. You fold the corners and it just makes a little convenient thing that the customer can peel off. And, yeah, it might result in good feedback and it just adds a nice little touch. And I like that. That's a great tip. I don't think we've ever, ever, ever in all the years of doing this, no one's ever said that. Really? Yay. <laughs> okay, so we got new rates on Macari, and I've seen in the Macari Facebook groups I'm in, people are losing their effing mind uh, because right now for uh, under a pound on, on a FedEx, it's a do uh, $14, and it was like 7 before. Wow. So people are like, I quit. And I'm like, look, you got to get the customers used to whatever the shipping rates are. But look, uh, UPS is $3 less. Obviously, uh, priority mail is way less. And so you just got to be diligent in how you pack and price your items for shipping. But the customer wants your item. They'll pay the shipping. I've learned that. If, not, I've, le if I've learned nothing else over 22 years, I've learned that, you know, the, the items that people want, the shipping will not bother them because they understand, most understand that. We, we have no control on the rates. Right. Yeah. So And, and so don't lose your mind. You just got to get used to it, figure it out, maybe adjust some of your stuff or like I do, which seems counterproductive. I don't ever adjust my new my old stuff, Aaron. When mm -hmm. rates change, I wait and see where I lose money and then I fix it going forward. But I'm like, I'm not going backwards to fix a thousand items. Yeah. Because I always pad my stuff anyway. So I figured, all right, going forwards will change it, but I'm not. I'm not going to go figure out a thousand old items. If yeah. I lose a buck or two here. It, it, your time is worth money. So if I lose a couple bucks here and there, it's way better time worth than having to change a thousand items. Yes, I agree. And now it's time for the thrifty tips of the week: little tips and tricks to help you out when you're outsourcing. All right. So, Someone's making fun graphics. Yeah, that I love that graphic. Awesome job. That should be our new. I'm gonna steal that from you, Debbie. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so we haven't mentioned it in a while. This is a document I created called Bolo Beach, and it's basically a one-stop shop for Bolo brands in categories. And um, I commented on a few today to bump them up and. Um, We'll probably be posting them, uh, you know, soon. We took a little break because we were posting three different categories a week for a while. Uh, we have a lot of categories. So basically what it is, it's a Google document you can access through the thrifting board. Just search Bolo Beach and it'll pop up. And um, yeah, there's tabs at the bottom. You can like search a category. Let's say you're at the thrift store and you're like, man, I don't remember what kind of mugs sell for a lot of money well you can click the tab mugs and these all come from people of the thrifting board sharing bolos that they have found and sold 
And so it's just a helpful document if you want to do some research and yeah, just want to make people aware that it's there. And yeah, maybe we'll post some new categories soon. And we're always looking for ideas of categories. Like if you just sold a bunch of something and you don't see that category, let us know. Jock straps. That should be our next one. All right. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> hey, old ones are worth a lot of money. Right. <laughs> All right. Here's this jacket. And my tip is don't ignore antique stores thinking there's no deals to be had because this is Flower Child in Lakewood, Ohio, uh, where in the west side of Cleveland, actually where Stacy first lived when I met her. And uh, we actually filmed there in Thrift Hunters. Mm -hmm. And they're a great store. I bought a ton of stuff from them over the years, but they're priced right so to speak usually the things i buy are for my own consumption and so walking through there last time i was home which was a couple days in october i found that jacket for 15 dollars nice. because the person whose booth it was in thought mm, it ran it isn't worth more than 15 dollars and i scooped it right up and sold it for 275 dollars. so there are deals to be had in antique stores you just gotta look right And now it's time for our online selling tips of the week. It doesn't matter if you're selling on Etsy, Depop, Macari, Poshmark, or eBay. These are little tips and tricks to help you when you're selling. Oh, well, Debbie, Debbie's graphics this week are, are awesome. Yeah, Debbie, good job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we just wanted to reiterate that sales really help. We have an, on our store, we kind of like to alternate 10% and then 15% overall. Q4, we did a 20% sale. Uh, it just kind of changes monthly. Just kind of figure out what works best for your inventory. We have yet to do a ginormous sale like 50% off that you just mentioned. But, you know, I'm up for it, especially certain categories, because you can do it for certain categories, right? Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. Look yep. at the percentages. <laughs> yeah, I got I to run them tonight. I, it's been quiet the last couple of days. And I had run a sale this week, so I'm like... This was kind of reminding me, like, oh, you need to run your sales now when you get done with the show. Okay, I'm excited to share this. Yay. Uh, funny, funny. Oh, my God. You know what's funny? What's funny? So when I prepped the show, this was for sale. It is now sold. Oh, wow. <laughs> and so while we were doing the show, but that's not what I wanted to share with you. Look what the number two picture is. Yay. Video. Oh. Yay. Right in our listings. Super easy to do. It is a new listing look, uh, a new, um, yeah, new look. Oh, look at that. There's a mug right there. It's a new look on eBay. And if you do have it and it's rolling out, not all at once, but everyone's starting to get it, it'll be on both um, desktop and mobile. And you don't have to convert. It's super duper easy. And with the new eBay setup, you don't even have to convert your Apple pictures anymore. So, yes. We'll be talking more about that as more of you get it, okay? Yeah. But yay. It's been yay, a long yeah. time coming. Yep. No longer have to do all the rigmarole. It's just right there. Woohoo! Yay. <laughs> and now it's time for Unseasonably Sold. What did you sell out of season? Hey, so we've been selling a lot of Christmas, actually. And uh, these are very collectible, Anna Lee's. And the cool thing about it is we found a whole bunch at a thrift store, which is kind of, it's kind of on the rare side to find them at thrift stores. We see them a lot of it at antique malls, but uh, Anna Lee is still made and I believe sold at Home Goods sometimes. And so it's definitely a bolo because we we've sold five so far for about $14 average on each. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah christmas yep now look we always talk about like who's buying christmas dolls and toys and music and this one was even like who who needs a reading of the christmas carol right now you know music's one thing but like i can't imagine ever listening to this anytime but christmas you know we're in february we're you know, we're knocking on Valentine's Day, and someone yeah. says, "You know what I need? Patrick Stewart reading the Christmas Carol." <laughs> so, and, and I, I've never listened to it. It's a two CD set. 
How long is a Christmas Carol? Dang. <laughs> that, that's a that's a lot of time listening to uh, Patrick Stewart read it. So you know, always list your Christmas stuff. People still want it, no matter what. <laughs> was the night before Christmas. <laughs> sometimes they're funny, sometimes they're angry, and sometimes they're just plain weird. Now it's time for the feedback of the week. All right. So, Ooh. yeah, I love feedback where it it validates the care you put into your packaging. And Matthew does put a lot of time and I love how they said it was packed meticulously. I mean, that's just such a big pat on the back, especially with like ceramic items when you pray it's going to make it on time. So I just really liked that feedback. Yep. In my 22 years, I can honestly say meticulously has never been a word using any feedback to me. Oh, good all job. All right. Yeah, very good job. For those of you who aren't paying close enough attention, I've showed the same jacket twice. It was a score. And it was a deal at the antique store. People are like, what jacket are you talking about? I had a picture of it. But guess what? It froze. You missed it. Everyone pay attention. I'm going to show it a third time because not really a feedback per se like this on eBay. But when you get a picture of your customer wearing it uh... and he says, Jason got the jacket. Thank you very much. Enjoy your weekend. I said, oh, it fits you nice. Looks great. He says, I'm very happy. Thanks. It was a 46 long and he doesn't see the 46 longs come up too often. So he didn't mind that instead of white and red, it's white, red, and pink now. He was excited to pay for it and send me a picture. And obviously, he works on big machinery while he wears his jacket. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Cloth. Yeah. So when you when you sell clothes, and I'm tall, but in my torso, and I got a big chest, um, it, it's nice when something fits. And man, to get a picture sent back, like, oh, it fit perfectly. So, so nice. So, yeah, I, I love that. All right, before we get John in here, who made this fun graphic? Mm. Matthew did. So uh, Matthew's my husband, and together we're Pete's treasures. Pete's our dog. Um, and we have a YouTube channel, and these are some thumbnails of some videos we have done. Here's Matthew. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Matt. <laughs> and, um, yeah, we just post a lot of haul videos. We unbox things as we get to them. We do some vlogs, and we just have a lot of fun. So we'd love if you... Go on to YouTube and subscribe to our channel. <laughs> Christopher says Matthew deserves a raise. <laughs> hey, Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So coming up this Sunday, and this is a surprise to my mother. So mom, when we're done tonight, start working on this. <laughs> Flipping lamps. I was looking through my mom's souls. Like, she's like, what should we do this week? And I'm like, just try, I'm, you know, I always look at the thrifting board and the secret beach, see what people are talking about. And my mom has sold so much lights and lamps and lighting in, in the last year. Let's talk about lamps because I got to imagine a lot of you are afraid to do lamps or not even thinking about stopping in the lamp section. So uh, I am going to go out thrift either tomorrow or Thursday. And so I will take some pictures in some lamp sections. And then, uh, mom, you can put together the ones you sold plus some other examples. So we will talk about lamps. Surprise, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> And then for those of you in Seeker Beach who haven't watched yet, I got a lot of great feedback. Uh, my surf report for the month of January just happened a couple of days ago. I showed you how to download and do your inventory for Macari, Facebook Marketplace, Discogs, Etsy, Poshmark, Depop, Amazon, and eBay. So if you have not done your inventory yet or haven't watched, make sure to give it a watch. I went pretty easy step-by-step -step on spreadsheets. For, so for those of you who don't love spreadsheets, don't know how to do them, don't embrace them like I nerd out and do. Uh, I kind of made it easy for you. If you just kind of follow my steps, you can pause as you go. You'll be able to also get your inventory easy to use and do, and then you can get your whole office taken care of. Yay. Hey. Okay. I love the, I love looking back at the chat. Just in my inventory. I have a lamp fetish. All right. <laughs> I love the chat. Uh, John. Oh, wait, wait, wait. John, afraid of lamps. <laughs> uh, yeah, look at that. See, Lori, someone wanted to sell her, sell her sister to sell her a lamp. So there you go. All right. Mom's on it. Ta-da. Yay. All right. Because John just left, let's get him in here. <laughs> just saw John Lee. <laughs> and now it's time for the Thrifty Business Special Guest of the Week. 
Oh, what do you got? Wait, 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 wait. What do you got there? This is a, a oh a, lamps. A nice. I've, I've been trying. I had I had two of these. One sold, and I just been trying to get this one sold, and it's still sticking around. So that is so cool. Yeah, I love it. I mean, I may keep it. <laughs> you know, uh, before we get to you. Uh, lamps is one of those things that I buy a lot of too, and I never get around to selling them. I actually end up using them in the house somewhere. Yeah, and I keep seeing my mom sell light after lamp after light, like, and then all kinds hanging on the wall, tension poles. I'm like, all right, there's good lighting out there that people want, and so let's, you know, those who are afraid, who have never even thought to look in the lamp section, let's let's push those people in the lamp section and show them what's out there. So I thought I'm going to go out anyway in the next day or two, so I'll take a bunch of pictures. Get the graphics done. Mom gets the content. Boom. And here we are. <laughs> so what's happening, brother? Welcome. Thank you for coming on. Glad you Thank finally you. got here. Good to see you. Glad to be here. Uh, by the way, I do love your picture. <laughs> <laughs> that's my that's my Groucho duck. <laughs> now, do we have anybody so young in the chat they don't know who Groucho was? That's the question. What? Uh, you don't know who Groucho know. was? No. You've never heard of the Marx Brothers? Okay, I've heard of Groucho Marx, but I don't know who he is. Oh, oh it's time to change that. All right. <laughs> he has been dead for 43 years, so I, I can understand. <laughs> and then mix it with a duck, and I have no idea. Yeah. It, uh, the Marx Brother movies are some of the most amazing um, comedic movies of all time. And it isn't always the joke, although some of them are great. But uh, some of their physical humor is incredible. Mm. Yeah, they they were incredible. Yep. All right. So when Debbie said, um, uh, let's have John on and talk about the tools on eBay. You know, it blows my mind every single day, John. Every single day. <laughs> people come to the thrifting board and go, what's this worth? And I always say, what's your research tell you? And they go, well, I didn't see it on eBay. I go, well, what did Terapeak tell you? And then we get one of two things. Oh, I forgot. Or what's Terapeak? And I am shocked. Like, we have talked about Terapeak so much in that group. I mean, even before it was something that eBay gave us all for free. Mm -hmm. But now that's been a while. And I am shocked the amount of people who don't know or don't. That should be in your brain all day long when you're working on research. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's only, it's only eBay is only a 90 day window. Um you gotta, you gotta kind of, you, you get with Terapeak, you got that whole one year of a, uh, of a, uh, of comps that you can look at, and you can actually help in terms of pricing of making sure, like you can go through, okay, I'm gonna make sure this is something that's used, um, make sure the comps are right, and it's gonna give you the average price. So it's like really not just letting you know what's sold, but it's actually letting you know what you should think about pricing your item at, which I think helped me a lot this uh, past year because, you know, I didn't have a lot of stuff that was, uh, except for a few items, is really setting there. I think I really set my price as well. You know, it, and it's so true, and it, it's shocking to me. Still, I'm shocked. I'm shocked that people don't, you know, the first stop is, yeah, eBay. Okay, anyone got this item for sale? Because right. if right. 40 people have the same item, move on. Don't even bother. But if, if there's not too many or none at all, then you go to the solds. Okay, what's happening? Oh, I don't see much in the solds. The next stop, without fail, is therapy. Okay, now we got 365 days. And and to demonstrate uh, kind of what John was saying about figuring out the prices, one of the rare mugs in the Tiki world is the Tiki Bob from San Francisco, the original. And so, uh, although there are a few versions, San Francisco. Oops, did I spell it wrong? Tiki Bo. Oh, yeah. Well, also, yeah, I misspelled Bob. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm still misspelling it. Yeah. Francisco, I think. Yep. And someone else did. So that's, if you ever misspell a word and see a listing, keep your eyes open. Like, oh, people misspell it. So, um, all right. I'll put in mug too because I don't want to see some of the other junk. There we go. <laughs> okay. So the average sold price is 358 with a high being 800. Mm. So if you're, if you're selling this, you should know this info because all of a sudden you throw yours up for 200. You know, John, I am sure some of the deals I get on Tiki mugs around eBay are because the, the seller didn't look over here. Yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a good place to go. And normally, and when I'm using it for pricing, what I do is I take that average price and I make that my new bottom price. Because, like, you have all those, like, those $19 ones that are, like, auctions that people put it at and all they got was 19 I just, like, okay, that's that's just the bottom theaters that just need to go. Yep. So I just go ahead. Then I go ahead. Once I see that average, I make that part of my filter, and that kind of gives me even a better idea that, oh, I might be able to get a little bit more. Maybe half of them sold for a bit more than what that average I got. So I might have a shot to do that and you know as you can see it shows there were 61 sold over the last 365 days only eight percent gave free shipping so not that it's ever going to be a crowd of field because these mugs are rare but if there was a day where you go to list and there's six other people listing it kick your price up a little bit and offer free shipping you'll probably be the only one yeah that's a good idea and then the average shipping is 20 bucks, and of the 61 sold, it turned into $22,000 in sales. So if you happen to find one of these mugs, you you can quickly see, yeah. dang, the average is uh, $358. I should probably price mine accordingly. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's an amazing tool that I've always uh, had access to, but now everyone has access to. Yeah. So, yeah. Now, I do have an item I like to show. Uh... That I use to, I'm, I'm, well, I gotta list it. So I'm using Terapeak to price it, but it's this. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's a program. You see, uh, this is uh, Mickey Rooney and Eartha Kitt did a production of Wizard wow. of Oz. Wow! Back in the ma- I was like, I saw this. I went to my thrift store. It was like in the magazines. It's only fifty cents. So. I was going to get it because I thought it was a cool thing, and it sucks that they're both gone. So I'll, I'll never, unless they somebody made a DVD of it, which I haven't seen, I would love to have seen this. So when I went to eBay, now I was going to get it anyway because it was 50 cents to school that. But I went in, no sales. I'm like, oh, okay. Now somebody would think like, well, gee, maybe I just won't get it, or maybe it was low. I go to Terapeak. Back last summer, because now we're like past the 90 days, there was actually this was actually in an auction and it went for $79. And there were actually people that were like 13 bids on it and it went up to 79. So I'm gonna price since it's kind of rare, I'm gonna price it at uh 99 and take a best offer of like 79. So there it is. Nice. And and so that that perfectly illustrates John's point is. If you just looked at eBay current or sold, which is 90 days, you would never notice it sold for eighty uh, seventy nine dollars back in July. Yeah, so you may have sold. You may have thought like, oh, I'll, I'll sell it for twenty five, which is, uh, you know, you still have a nice return on a fifty cents book. But if you know if people are in a bidding war up to seventy nine dollars, then that's something I can put it out there, set it on my shelf, and just wait, see what I can get. Yeah. Uh, and so to, 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 to answer who had that question, uh, or, or even Debbie, uh, so even though Terapeak has the, the data, the title, the price, the shipping, they don't have the listing because eBay wipes everything clean at at 91 days. And so all you're going to get is this thumbnail. So yes, Mm -hmm. you can click it and can't open it, but if you get descriptive enough where you can find the exact thing, this is obviously the exact thing John just showed us, yeah. you at least have the data to show, okay, it's over 79. They like to use commas and dashes. Uh, look at there's two, th- three commas and a dash. <laughs> so John's going to write a much better title. <laughs> it's real and, estate. <laughs> yeah, real estate. And maybe 79 was too low at auction. Maybe this is a $100 fixed price item or $120. You just don't know because if the right two people weren't watching it in the correct week, uh, they might not have seen it. And eleven dollars for shipping? What? <laughs> what is a book? Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe they did priority. The priority with a nice box around it had to be for for eleven dollars. My yeah. oh my. <laughs> yes, and Oz should be capitalized. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, that title needs a lot of help. <laughs> but they got they got seventy nine dollars. <laughs> but here's the deal. Here here's the other use of this though. John's gonna sit down. He could copy this title right over and then just adjust the few things. 
less work for him to do. Yeah. Right. He, he's going to have Wizard of Oz. He's going to have Earth the Kit, Mickey Rooney program. He's going to have all those words. So why why redo all the work? Copy it and clean it up. Copy it. Clean. Yeah. Boom. It's the all cap ones that really drive me crazy, too. It's oh, like, yeah. Oh. It's like it's a nice one, but it, they put it all in caps. I'm like, I know. <laughs> yeah, books can be heavy, but it's just a program, nay, from a, a production. So mm -hmm. programs aren't heavy. Yeah, programs aren't heavy. They're not big yeah. books. All right. So, what are the, some of the other tools you use from eBay? Oh gosh, uh, Terapeak's kind of the main one. I know one that I need to start using is the one that. Uh, talks about like the clicks and impressions that you get from your listing. So that one, and then another one I'll probably start having to use is like when they tell you how to fix your, fix your listing. That's yep. kind of the, uh, the main one I need to start uh, using that one. So those are two that I really, are, I'm really going to start using, but yeah, Terra Peak is like the real main one that, I mean, it really helped. Like compared to last year, my I really think because my average sale price went like from like fifty to like sixty nine dollars, but it's not like I had all these rare items. I was just finding things that I had never found before because I was using Terapeaker. Look at the at the whole year. So that's kind of the that's kind of the main one I really uh, I love using is uh is with Terapeak. Now, another thing I'm starting to use is that uh, the new Google uh, image. Oh, yes. Now, that's one I'm going to use because I got a, uh, I don't know if I can find them. I don't know where I put them. But I got this whole bag of uh, like Teenage Ninja Mutant Ninja toys and Masters of the Universe toys. And I'm like, I don't know what. A lot of times people, well, you know, people usually like they'll be on the uh, thrifting board and they'll say they don't, they can't find a character and, you know, there'll be somebody there who could uh, help them out. But I think the Google, the Google lens, that's the, that's the name of Google lens is the one uh, I'm going to, when I'm ready to start like going through those toys, I'm going to use Google lens. That's a, that's a really big one to use. Yes, and Debbie just showed us a trick where if you have an iPhone, I don't know if it's for Android too, but if you go to the picture in your camera roll, you can go straight to Google Lens from that uh, oh, photo. That's oh, okay. a game changer. That that skips a step. So that's oh, awesome. Oh gosh, yeah, yeah, that would that'd be great. I'll start I'll start using that one. So, so yeah, like Terapeak has been like my my main thing, and then, but it's I'm really when I because like I'm making this transition over into clothes. I'm really gonna be leaning on that because I don't want to, I don't want to like just like put something out there and I'm, and I'm priced, I price myself out. You know, I wanted to price it to move. You know, not not race to the bottom. I just want to have it where when the right customer comes by who wants that item, I'm gonna have the right price. So I'm really gonna really use Terapeak to to help me do that. Yeah. John, do you have a worth play subscription? You know, I need. Uh, I need to get one. I haven't had so one someone one. asked if it was worth it, and then someone else <laughs> said, "What's Worth Point?" And so oh. <laughs> Worth Point has been around uh, even longer than Terapeak, uh, and they have gathered data from eBay listings for 18 years. And so the good thing about Worth Point, and it's only for collectibles. If you're selling commodity mm -hmm. items, if you're selling tube socks, <laughs> you know, new tube socks, you don't need Worth Point. But if you're like John and Aaron and myself and you're picking up collectibles and antiques and stuff, it's great because it keeps all the collectibles. And so uh, let's do Spice Girls doll. Yeah, there we go. That's my jam. And we'll go search by title only. Okay, so they have uh, kept 13,117 different Spice Girl doll uh, listings. <laughs> from what from whenever so let's see uh oops not descending ascending so the 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 oldest one on here is 2005 that's some serious data you got yeah. 17 yeah. years ago now you're not going to want to price it from what it was 17 years ago but sometimes we all get that thing so rare at least here we have a jumping off point and what's nice is 
it keeps the pictures and the description along with the title yeah. and the price. Yeah, see, that's and so nice if you are stumped and you're not, you're like, okay, is this, uh, what's this called? What, you know, if, if you need more info, you can find a lot of times the worth point. It is a subscription. We do have a discount on the thrifting board. Um, but yeah, so like Tara says, I use worth point every day. When we're listing here in this office and doing all the collectibles, it is all day long, Tara Peak and worth point. Just all day long because we want to see kind of the history uh -huh. and we kind of watch for the ups and downs too. You know, they're, they're, it, all collectibles have an ebb and flow like the stock market. Right. And you don't want to list on the down day. You definitely don't. If it's trending down, it goes push to the side. We work on something else. When it turns, we want to get it up. Right. And a lot of times when you're researching something, the only thing you can find is on worth point, like with the Google search. <laughs> but let's let's go back and see what the most expensive thing was in the last 16 years. I'm always I'm always intrigued by that mm -hmm. too. Oh, yes. All right. So the most expensive, oops, I went the wrong way. Two dollars and twenty cents. <laughs> <laughs> Every doll. So this is from 2018. And okay, here's a great example. So they had a lot of dolls. Don't make it just one long line. Look oh. at this ridiculous picture. <laughs> Look yeah, at this ridiculously so tiny pain. picture. <laughs> <laughs> but and they had, I don't know how many all the dolls they had, but uh, they got $33,000 for all the dolls. Ooh. I got now, a lot of dolls. Pull, does it nice. pull from Etsy too or anything? Or is it, it just pulls from eBay and auction houses? So oh, Van Eaton oh. Galleries is a one uh, one of the auctions I watch. It'll pull from there too. Oh, real okay. Yeah. Do you know if it pulls from uh Heritage? Uh, yes, it, yeah, it does. Ooh. Yeah, so it's eBay okay. and a lot of the auction houses. Okay, so, all right. Yeah, I may, yeah, I may have to to re-up because I got some things I'm working on that I want to see what they're going for so yeah i'll definitely yeah i think i'll i'll get back i'll put my uh toe back in the worth point uh pool yeah and you know it's like tiktok you can go down a rabbit hole so if you're working on <laughs> like if you if you um source a, a lot of say vintage programs from old musicals you go down that rabbit hole because you get away from what you have and go oh my god look how much this sold for yeah and now it's in your brain because yeah. you're looking yeah because yeah now right. if, if i have it if i'm at a state sale you know, I'm looking and I don't, it's maybe it could have been something that sold three years ago. I can find it in a uh, worth point. So yeah, I think I'll, uh, no, I'll Max I'll sold's on worth point too. Oh, cool. And yeah, any part of your business is tax, tax deductible, Sabrina, but check with your tax professional. Yep. Right. Cool. Uh, uh, go ahead, Aaron. Go ahead. Well, I was going to say, speaking of Terra Peak, I think one of the most helpful tips I've heard on Terra Peak is saving it as a tab on your phone or an icon on your phone. Yep. And if you're new to Terra Peak, you might forget about it easily, but I have my little tab right next to eBay. Actually, yep. I made the icon the same as eBay, so I put one thing in between it or else I would get confused. But um, <laughs> it makes Worth Point, I mean, it makes Terra Peak so accessible. So like yeah. when you're trying to go fast in the thrift store, you know, I can pull it up right away. So yep. I love yep. that. Yeah, it's right right next to my eBay app. Yeah. Yep, I, I use it all the time because it it and that's and that and that's a great point, Aaron, because it really saves you when you're in the thrift store and you can't find anything in the current ninety days of solds. You're you're that precipice. Do I is this worth it? Do I buy it? I don't know. Oh, quick therapy. Get, oh, look, it sells for quite a bit of money. Yay! And yeah. then and then you get excited because you're like, oh, that means no one's had one lately, and I got one now. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, that's like the first thing that goes through my mind. Like, oh, it's not listed or sold, so it must be rare. So let me go check Terapeak. Yeah. Kraken, you don't need to have a store. Terapeak is for every eBayer nowadays. It was yeah. just a store item, and then they made it accessible to every eBayer. So you should have a store, but if you don't, you can still get Terapeak. Yeah. Woo. Uh, so, John, how long have you been selling on, on eBay? Uh, let's see. Well, actually, I've been accumulating since... 2013 then i opened my store in 2017 and i started selling uh uh like i had my store uh so i just had my uh my fifth fourth quarter uh this past year and it was my best uh best fourth quarter uh, i actually hit the magical uh 
five digits. So I was happy with that. Um, and 2022 20, is uh, just out the gate. I mean, 20, the early part, most, and what I, most of what I did last year, having my best year, I did like mainly in the second half of the year. I mean, that was, that's the crazy part about it that I, I did that. And like I said, I had a really good sourcing year um, using Terapeak. Um, like it wasn't a lot of like dead listings I did. You know, I, I had I had good comps. I had a good price. So things were, were really selling. So, uh, but yeah, 2022 is already, I'm already like, uh, it says I'm 400% above what I was doing this time last year but last year it was really shitty last year so so <laughs> well, when we get when we get to like uh when we get to like third and uh fourth quarter i'll really uh i really kind of see uh how i'm doing so uh so I'm, yeah I'm, I'm, i was pretty happy with how the year went last year that's great Do you, uh, it, oh sorry go ahead Oh, oh, everyone's saying, uh, where do I find Terra Peak on my phone? I hope that means oh. you're all new because we actually did. Mom and I did a show on this a couple months ago, how to add the shortcut to your, uh, to the, to the desktop on your phone. Mm -hmm. So here is the link in the chat. So save that for later, but it shows you how to add the link. Now, unfortunately, Terra Peak isn't in the app. The eBay app isn't a separate app, but if you save a shortcut to your using your browser on your phone, uh, you can, I can just pull down on my phone and start typing Terra Peak and it comes right up. So, uh, uh, yeah, I, I know Nancy, I know you're new, but I saw some other people ask, uh, mm -hmm. but yeah, there's the link and you'll see how to do it. Now, once you watch the show, if you still got any questions, Nancy and everybody else, feel free to hit me up. I'll be around all weekend. I'll be happy to help. All right. So what's your big goal for this year? Ooh, my big no, goal no, this year. I didn't now now I didn't realize how young you were into this. Only a few years. Like I feel yeah. so old and grizzled at this point. I'm like, <laughs> oh you youngsters on eBay. <laughs> hey, that's yeah. Good. But yeah, this is uh this will be I guess so this will be yeah, this will be your number uh five for like a you know, like before then, you know, I'd have something I want to get rid of, a book or whatever, I'd sell it. But in terms of having a store, this will be your number five. Um my go well actually it's it comes down to like with my daughter okay you know my daughter she's 21 so before that you know she was a teenager and i would tell her like yeah this is what my lifetime e-bill ebay sales are like thirty five thousand dollars and she'd be like you didn't do that in one year <laughs> you know? oh, wait, wait. Oh, you didn't do that in one year you know she's got to be on the phone and everything <laughs> Now, I could just say, like, well, you know, smart mouth, little brat. She doesn't know anything about business. Then I thought, mm, you know, why not? <laughs> why not try and do that? So so really much last year, so the late part of last year, when I was having this great year, I just took everything and I started going heavy in the clothes. So um, shirts, jeans, you know, shout out to Joy. Uh, <laughs> Really going heavy into that, and and it kind of give you a perspective of how heavy I am into it. It's like if you take think about this is kind of like I figured I'd do it. Is that think about how much you spent sourcing from 2013 to 2020. So you just put that number in your head. Then you decide to go ahead and just spend that same amount in one year in 2021. That's how deep I've gone into uh, doing this, and um, and like I said, I took advantage, and I took advantage, I took advantage of this. I took advantage of the fact that I had my great best year ever. Everything was generated from my eBay sales, so it's not like I had to take, you know, you know, normal money to put it back in, and also, you know, being, you know, uh, over fifty-five like the half price sales are just, you know, at a lot of my thrift stores. So if that's another tool, find out, you know, um, sign up for the mailing list of your thrift stores, um, go on their social media, uh, get their text alerts. That's a great tool to have because that's pretty much putting money in your pocket. So you find out like, oh, we're doing a half off, uh, you know, clothes today and you get that alert then, you know, head over and um, you're going to basically double your money 
to do that. So I, I think if that's like another tool we can talk about. Take a take advantage of the social media of your uh, of your thrift stores and and become uh, alert to that. So uh, so I'm all in. So my goals this year is like I have a uh, I have three levels of goals of listing. So everything's kind of listing and the money I believe will follow. I'm planning to get 2,500 starting tomorrow. So my calendar year is kind of like February to February. Uh, a baseline of 2,500 listings, then wow. 5,000. That's wow. kind of like the stretch goal. Mm -hmm. And uh, 7,500 if I somehow I get crazy or decide not to sleep. And if as I eat, who eat needs school, sleep? Pardon? Who needs oh, sleep? Yeah. yeah, who needs sleep? Um, you know, and I said I reward myself. Like each goal, I, each each goal I hit is a week I get to spend in. I'm planning a trip to Arizona, so uh, oh, that's I'm looking cool. forward. To, Are you I'm coming to hang with me? Hmm? Oh, that's you right. That's right. You are in Arizona. Now. Yeah, we are part time yeah. in Arizona. That's right. Yeah, I guess I guess so. <laughs> Hell yeah, let me know. Stacy will be there next week. I'm not going this time, but uh, mm -hmm. we'll be getting our furniture moved in in the next yeah. couple of weeks, and. Uh, let me know when you're coming. We'll definitely hang out. Uh, yeah. Phoenix is so full of sourcing opportunities. Yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. So I'm thinking about that long term. But, yeah. Did but, I spell but, the code uh, wrong again, or is someone messing with me? Good hmm? Lord. Did I spell it? Oh. Oh, I sure did. God damn it. Hmm. Sorry. Sorry, John. Go ahead. I, apparently, I can't spell anymore. Yeah. But uh, I think, it, and, 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 yeah, compared to what I've done in the past, it's definitely a uh, an ambitious goal, but... I'm doing, I'm doing one, I'm really focusing on the one thing, jeans. Um, I have a great thrift store that's less than a mile from me. It's the one that's like associated with my kid's school. They sell their jeans and shirts for eight bucks. Um, that's the base price. And then they have sales throughout the month. Like they have the senior discount on Monday, that's 25%. And they'll have, they always are having uh clothes sales, um, a 50% off. So it's just like to get something that, you know, I'm sourcing for four bucks. Um, I get a price point of, like I said, using, using Terra Peak, I can get something for 29 bucks. Um, I'm looking to net anywhere 15 to 20 bucks per, per item. So it's, uh, it's really taking advantage of that. And, and like jeans, like, you know, jeans are, I mean, it's, it's not like, like, I, I got really tired of like, like saying you're buying electronic, you got to test it, you got to, some things you got to clean, jeans you just got to inspect, you got to measure, take a few pictures, you know, and I'm working on little ways to kind of make the whole process easier. So I'm going to know, I'll, I'll know, I'll know by the end of this month about, you know, how I'm going to track. The goal is to get 250 pairs listed before the end of the month. It's a nice, that's, that's a nice a bunny goal. hop. If I do that, then I know I'm on track for the first goal. And then that'll kind of help set, you know, if I can hit the, hit the second goal. So I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really, it's, it's like, I've, you know, I, and I, and I, I, another thing about clothes is just need a poly mailer bag to ship them in, you know, the, the time I've wasted looking for a box or something or, having a Franken box. Like I just had a Franken box <laughs> to ship a, uh, a Napa Valley, uh, hundred, uh, cassette case today. And I'm like, gosh, I could have like shipped out 10 pair of jeans by now. <laughs> it made, it made, it made much more money. So that's another thing is trying to just really simplify by, cause we're, we're back in a secret beach when we were like, uh, doing a whole categorization exercise, I realized I had 50 categories of items. And I'm like, gosh, that's a lot of different categories. Let me try and narrow that down. So I decided to kind of narrow it down with the jeans, pants, shirts, coats, um, media, you know, records, cassettes. I'm nailing that down. Um, what else? You know, jeans, jeans are a great thing to tell, especially new people, because like John was saying, they don't yeah. break. There isn't anything involved in shipping them. You throw them in a poly mailer and away they go. Yeah. As long as you know the three measurements, you know, what or two actually, well, jeans, waist, inseam, and rise. That's all you got to do. It's so yeah. easy 
and, and there's so much good stuff out there. And and Jennifer said, uh, what about distressed and trash jeans? I love selling distressed and trash jeans. People, people, people here. love those. Yeah, and here, look, perfect example. This is my favorite flannel. It got a hole in it today. Where's my hole? It got a hole in it today, but it's a natural hole. It happened naturally. I didn't force that hole. And so uh, I love when your <laughs> clothes wear out naturally. Right. And people love jeans like that, but some people just want them done already. They don't want to wait to get through the process of wearing the, the hell out of them. They just want them done. So when you find trash jeans, absolutely pick them up. Yeah. Oh, it car. Okay. Somebody just posted here about Carhartt. Up until like three weeks ago, I might find an occasional pair of Carhartts. But you know, Carhartt is located here in uh, Michigan. And they just like came out and said that um, anybody that works in there, they have to be vaccinated. So a lot of folks weren't really too happy about that. Well, guess what I started finding in my thrift stores? Oh. Like, all this car. I'm like, hey, don't burn it. Just donate it. <laughs> and, I'll, and I'll take care of it for you. So I've been finding car hearts like, like crazy the last uh, the last three weeks. So, uh, you know, thanks, folks, who donate their stuff. Yeah, people who burn their stuff that they've already paid for to protest something are maybe not the sharpest knives in the drawer. Yeah. So just don't just donate it. Yeah. Donate it. Right. Yeah. I've yeah. never distressed a pair of jeans to sell. I have to wear them in high school. But other than that, I would just not have the energy or the time to distress them. But if I find them, like the, the last pair I found were was at Savers. I am shocked they put them out because they were beat to death. They put them out in the Halloween section for six dollars. And they were just so good covered with rips and paint and oil and stuff. <laughs> That I got like 50 bucks for them because wow. someone always wants that. That's always a thing. Um, real quick to go back to what John was saying about um whoops, wrong button. There we go. Uh the the spot where eBay says, here's what you can do to make your stuff better. Go to your performance tab. Okay. And uh right here it says we have a new sales report. Uh, get till, uh wait, where is it? Hey, right here. Download the listings quality report and it'll tell you. Hey, you should do you should do this in your listing. It would probably be better. So you can really, um, you know, some people just throw up their listings and never think about them. Others, like John was saying, he wants to get into this more. Uh, get into the minutia. They really want to see all the details. Why aren't they getting impressions? Why aren't they getting views? What could be better words in their title? So eBay gives you all that data if you want to go down that rabbit hole. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, I have. Let's see, 84 bins of clothes that I accumulated. Oh, and my gosh. Well, I thought Aaron's opened up, Aaron and uh, Matt were opening up boxes from seven months ago. Yeah. But 84 <laughs> bins of clothes, I'm like. <laughs> so, and you know what? You would think any 84, like, when you think about, like, the, uh, profit piles, death piles, whatever you want to call them, I'm just, you know what? I have, I have seriously sat here and thought, Oh my gosh! What am I going to do when I get all this stuff listed? I'm I'm actually looking forward to like getting the stuff listed, and then come like May or June, I'm figuring out. Oh gosh, I got to go ahead and uh, find another 84 because I'm pretty confident that I can get this stuff done. It's it's, it's winter now. February, March, <laughs> and April is just going to suck. So what else? What else am I going to do? So you know, my birthday's on May 17th, so I plan to kick off and go back there and do it all again because i remember last because last year i posted like uh on the secret beach board like when i saw the first sign of a, a community rummage sale and i was like oh i can't wait and that was kind of the kickoff of all of this so i'm looking forward to getting back to that point where i gotta go ahead and do all this again Cause now I'm getting to a point where it could be sustainable, like where, yeah, the, the business will just keep kind of, you know, regenerating and the, oh, the money will kick out, I'll kick it back in and, and just keep it going. Cause I used to always feel like if I found something, say like in the past, like finding this like wizard of Oz book, I get it. I get the money. I'll get like the net proceeds of like $75. I spend it on some kind of bill or, something else and then you kind of feel like 
Oh, the book's gone. The money's gone. <laughs> the <book's laughs> left, you know. So now I'm kind of like, okay, I can kind of get this to a point where it's kind of still there and it's kind of generating uh, over time. So I'm pretty, pretty excited about that. You, you see, Aaron, since you don't know, John and my mom will not see the sun again till about May. So, <laughs> so it's very bleak in the uh, Midwest there through the winter. It's not so much the weather, it's the grayness that never effing ends, just never ends. <laughs> And so John's going to uh, 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 come out in May as, as a, a butterfly. He's like, all right, I've been in my cocoon since January. <laughs> yeah. All right, so what I think we should do, we'll, 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 let's end up obviously on your scores and duds. But, Debbie, let's have John back in the beginning of May. Are all the tubs listed? So that's, that's you know, Ooh. you always have to have goals. If you write down your goal, if you put it in front of 1,000 people on YouTube, if you put it in front of 60,000 people on the thrifting board or 800 people in the secret beach, you're more apt to work on it because you're like, shit, now I've told people. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, if you just tell yourself, that's fine. But when you tell others, like I, I, every month I go through the secret beach and I say, all right, here's my sales goals for the month and for the year. And I'm doing good. But like today, I, today I slacked. And I'm like, oh no, this is a short month. I cannot slack in a short month because mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to say, I didn't meet my, I didn't make my goal because I slacked on a short month. I'm like, yeah. All right, hey, I will. We'll definitely. Uh, oh, definitely Nancy's do that. upper peninsula. Yeah, she's even grayer than you. Yeah, yeah that's way. <laughs> oh, Manitoba, forget about yeah. it. We say <laughs> thawing out till June. <laughs> Man. All right, so we asked you what your um what your favorite, one of the favorite items you sold was. And you actually show, sold a kick-ass shag print. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, because you, you kind of helped me with pricing on that, too. I remember I messaged you, and uh, and I think we were going to shoot for 1500 and I got uh, 1250 for it. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's currently my one of my uh, biggest... Uh, biggest sales which i might be surpassing so now, uh, is uh where, where i forget john where'd you find this at i found this at a uh a thrift store encore thrift five dollars wow aaron can you imagine finding a shag at a thrift store no <laughs> that's awesome yeah wow <laughs> Uh, and apparently, Elisa needs to watch the um, Planet of the Apes movies. <laughs> if you think that's the Eddie. Yeah. Great, great. I mean, just great, like, you know, the Tiki, Dr. Zayas, the. Yep, yeah, that the is central, It's Apes. just that nice, you know, coming together of all these genres. Great piece. Yeah, Shag has always been a big pop culture fan. And so not every picture has something pop culture ish in it. But then all of a sudden you're like, why is Dr. Zayas in this Tiki picture all of a sudden? And he loves pop throwing pop culture things in there. So, man, to find that at a thrift store, I, I'd, I'd fall over. <laughs> oh, Nancy's going to come down and visit you and go uh, Upper Peninsula. She ain't finding Shag in the thrift store for five bucks. <laughs> uh, Shag is a Tiki artist. This is his art right here. This. He does stuff for Disney. Yep, does a lot of stuff for Disney. Uh, oops, where's the man? There's the man. That's Shag right there. Shag started out life uh, in the Mormon religion and then found out drinking is so much more fun. So he became oh, yeah. a, uh, a tiki artist who enjoys cocktails. <laughs> All, All right. Church so kids end up like that. All right, so uh, if anyone wants to check out John's store, it's John's Infinite Closet. I love the name, and I love the picture to go with it. Yep, yeah. that is badass. But well, let's... When, when I came up with that name, I don't, once again, I'm dating myself. There used to be a radio show called Fibber, McGee, and Molly. And it was like this gag where this guy would open the closet and all the stuff would fall out. And that's what I kind of did it for. But now that I'm going into clothes, it really is a closet. <laughs> So, okay. All right. Let's start with your duds because your first dud's a $275 item. Oh, my God. I oh, love that. 
it hasn't it hasn't sold yet. That's why I'm calling it a dud. Yeah, I guess yeah, I guess usually the duds are usually something that sold and we didn't get what we thought. But uh this might be something where we can maybe we can like fix it. I think I need to break it up because I get watchers, but no one has really uh pulled the trigger and this pterodactyl is really dirty and I think I need to clean it. So I think I call it a dud because yeah. I haven't I haven't sold it yet. So I think I need to just break them up and, and do that. Yeah. yeah those of you in Michigan, I will be coming this summer. We will hit tiki bars and there we will have a class or two. So uh stay tuned. I am overdue for a Michigan trip for sure. Does it say who made those plush? Oh, uh, let's see. Man before time. You know what? I guess that's something I should add. Yeah, I'm gonna I was gonna say because I don't even see any pictures of any of the tags. Well, there's that big one. I think there was I think it was like a, a JC. Yeah, they, they had the tag. But see, I'm gonna break them up. I think that's what people want. Yeah. I'm gonna break them up. So. That's fu that's funny, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when my mom has hit tiki bars that I haven't been to yet, I'm way behind on my travel, so I got to get my ass there. All right, another two hundred seventy-five dollar dud. No, that's still. I'm still trying to sell it. Uh, I think I priced it well. I did my research. These helmets go uh, for about like that. This price. Um, I got five watchers on it, and uh, I don't know. It's just still. I thought it would been. I thought it would have been gone by uh, by fall, but I'm just gonna. It's sitting in a twelve by twelve box. I believe that's a good price based on the other. Uh, unless we want to check tear peak real quick. Uh, <laughs> I think I set the price well, and I just. I guess I gotta wait till football season comes back around and people kind of. Get the itch. So now, two questions: Do did you get the video yet in your listings? The option. Uh, I got. I guess I got to check. I just this is the first time I've heard about it. And do you have a home line still? Nope. <laughs> okay, so here's what I would do: I would go to a friend, a neighbor, your brother, your sister, your kid, whatever, who has a home line, and make a call with it and get a call with it. Oh. So shoot a video of getting a call. So because no one else is going to do that. Okay. I'm a moron. I have one of those duck phones that quacks when it rings, like from, from uh, Jersey Shore. And I went over to my friend's uh, antique mall, and I plugged it in, and he called me, and it worked. And I drove back home, and I go, why not take a video of us doing that? Yeah. Because I don't have a home line. And so, yeah, yeah, definitely on these older phones, if you can get somewhere where you can take the call just to show it worked and with a new video, it'll it'll really help. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, Nancy, uh, I don't have any dates just yet. It will definitely not be June 18th because I want to make sure Lori goes to her family reunion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'm going to plan it soon. We got to get Stacy in her groove of when she runs to Phoenix. And so once I kind of get that set up, then I can figure out how to do everything else. So she's going to just start getting in the groove of heading to Phoenix. So we'll get her squared away and then I'll get me squared away. All right, let's talk about scores. All right. That's a lot of yellow in one picture. Yeah, it sure is. Uh, this was a, a die cast uh, model. Um, somebody wanted to buy, well, actually, I sourced them at a, a thrift store. They were going, they were going for 10, senior discount. I got it for five bucks. <laughs> so that's another five bucks uh, profit I got. And the person wanted, they, you know, they were having issues with uh, payday. They asked if I could uh, pretty much hold it. Um, and I, I don't know if that's usually up. Uh, I've, I've done it in the past where somebody says, like, I don't get paid for a week because if they pay for it, it goes into a case in four days. So I will pull listings and, like, do a hold for people who who want to do it. So I, I have done that in the past. So I did this, and they went ahead, and uh, the day came, and they paid the uh, – $75 and I shipped them the car. Nice. Customer service. Yeah. And you know what happened after that guy bought that one car? He came back and said, Hey, would you take 150 for a <laughs> perfect? We love this that. one. So, you know, it, it was just like this kind of same deal. He had a he had to get paid. Um, once the day came, I messaged him back saying, Hey, are you all set? I'll put it back up. So two cars, 
$225 for $10 cost and just did a little customer service. And I love these, and I love these cars because you could take a flat rate medium box and just uh do the scoring, make it make it rectangle and in it goes. Yeah, maybe a couple of people did, haven't heard, but yes, we did buy another house. <laughs> we're insane. And so Stacy now works out of Phoenix and sometimes uh, mm. she works from home and sometimes she has to be in the office. So instead of always renting a room or whatever, we decided to get just a little two bedroom uh, townhouse in Phoenix. So we got to get it set up with our furniture and get Stacy on her schedule. And then I can start moving about the country and seeing y'all. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Uh, this DVD set, uh, you know, this is last summer is what I call the greatest sourcing summer ever. This came from a, a local library at a sale. And what they were doing, they said, you can fill bags, make a donation, and off you go. And uh, so they had all these, like, uh, sports uh, DVDs. This was one of them. And I, and I tried to be fair. I, you know, I, I, I said, okay, let me uh, – I think I, I gave them, like, maybe $10 per bag or something like that when I filled it. I, I kind of did the pricing of how it would be in a thrift store and did that. And uh, this is one of the items in uh, $199. And damn, I don't know. Of all the media I sold, even this one shocks me. Yeah. yeah. This is like, yeah, this is like, yeah, I'm like, uh, and uh, yeah, that $199 then became like 50 pair of jeans. <laughs> 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 then that's that's that, and that's how I was, I've been doing it. And when people buy those cassettes from you, Jason, they got to have a place to put them. <laughs> so I got this nice Look little piece. Look what I'm working on. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll fill it up. So I got this piece at a uh, local thrift for about, uh, for like $6. And, uh, you, know, and you know, somebody went ahead and uh, picked it up. So that was, uh, that was nice. I, I, like, I like picking up these little unique uh Oh yeah, storage storage uh, pieces. Uh, I think, like I said, people they like to have things that they just display them when they do get them. So, all right. So before we call it night, Debbie picked two more things out of your store. She wanted to talk about in your solds. So oh. surprise. Oh yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, this is from when they did the. Uh, they were like bringing the show back, and they were giving out rewards. And uh, this was one of the rewards. And I think I pretty much got back more than what I paid for the reward with uh, with this one piece. So, uh, but once again, you know, I just went and, you know, Tara peeked it, kind of see what they were going for. I'd set it a little bit higher, but then I went ahead and went with the 149 and uh, so for 149. So that was a nice, that was a nice get. That's great. Hell yeah. And then lastly. Oh, yeah. How yeah, much did this sell for? <laughs> that went for, let's see, 124. I think it went for 115 or something like that. Damn. Man. That, and this is from that, uh, this is from that uh, library book sale. Man. So. So I got that. I got in a lot of, they had like a whole bunch of CDs. I cleaned out their CDs, went through, tried to find, this is really this and one other one's the one that was really the most valuable. Then I just went ahead and took the rest of them to a record store and, <laughs> and cashed them out. So uh, I did, I did pretty, I did pretty well with that. I shout out to the Berkeley uh, <laughs> public library. <laughs> I'm shocked they had this. Yeah. It was very, it was very, there was no, there was no, I checked, you know, eBay, of course. I checked Discogs. I could not find this. So I just kind of. I mean, this is so not a library type of piece of music. Okay, well, right. this, well, folks, folks were donating. Folks were donating. Okay. Like folks would donate stuff and then they'd uh, turn around and uh, 
All right, Debbie said it's over one ten. She found it on Terapeak. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. That's awesome. Wait, <laughs> way to bring us back oh, to the point, nice, Debbie. Up. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we'll end with that. In case you don't know, here's a little little hack for you. If you see something that got taken a best offer and you want to know exactly what it's sold for, all you got to do is mm -hmm. copy the title. So we're going to copy this title and then go to Terapeak. Let me pop back over here to Terapeak and then just paste that exact title in and it'll show you what it's sold for. There it is, 110. So that's your little hack on how to find out what best offer was accepted. Now, the caveat to that is, if it's something that I got accepted in a best offer in the last hour, it won't be in Terapeak just yet. It'll take about a day to get in there. Oh. But this is the quick and easy way to figure out what best offer was accepted. Because if John had only accepted a best offer of 15, it ain't so impressive. But 110, damn impressive. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that, Swoop. Hit that thumbs up button. It's easier than using Terapeak. <laughs> Thank you, Swoop. All right, everybody. What a great night. John, thank you for uh, being here. Good to see you upright and feeling good. Uh, yes. Aaron, thank you for uh, being uh, one of my uh, normal co-hosts nowadays. It's always fun to hang Ooh. out with you. Uh, and as Aaron said before I went live, I'm waiting for the day that we show up with the same mug at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> because Aaron and Matthew have grown quite a good collection. So someday we're both going to be like, oh, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and good to see everybody. Uh, we were off last week, so good to be back. Good to see you all. And Mom and I will be back on Sunday at the normal time, 7 p.m. East Coast, 4 p.m. West Coast. And we're talking lamps. Yeah. So I will have some pictures. I'm going to go see if we can find a lamp either tomorrow or Saturday and uh, show you how easy it is. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, everybody. Uh, have a wonderful evening, and we will see you on Sunday. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> yes, John is awesome. Thanks, Todd. Yes, John is awesome. Thank you. Woohoo. Yeah. See you guys Damn. in May. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Pressure's on. <laughs>